Hi, I'm Pilar Kuhn, and these are podcasts, Pilar in the World of Dogs. Today I'm going to talk about bathing your dog. You can bathe your dog indoors or outdoors. If you're indoors, you can use your own bathtub if you wish, or even the kitchen sink if your dog is small enough. Or you can invest in something a little bit more appropriate for your back, an elevated bathtub like what we're going to use today. This is called a booster bath. It boosts your dog up and it gives you the opportunity to bathe your dog, contain them, and not wake up with a backache. So today I'm going to bathe our five-month-old Scottish Terrier puppy. Her name is Chicory. She's been bathed a few times. She's been bathed in the kitchen sink. She's been bathed in the booster bath. Today we're going to show you how you might want to go about bathing a five-month-old puppy. First of all, we have her inside the bath that has a non-slip surface. This is actually great for them so they don't get scared. And we have three different eye hooks in here so that we're able to use a grooming noose and it keeps them in the tub. As you can tell, sometimes dogs don't want to get a bath and they think, oh no, it's torture. It's not, but you got to keep them in the tub. We have our shampoo and conditioner that's already pre-staged. And on any warm day, you don't ever want to start hosing your dog right away. You want to make sure that the water temperature is decent or cools off because it can get really hot inside a hose. The last thing you want to do is to actually burn your dog with hot water. They'll hate bathing for the rest of their lives. So I'm letting my water cool off and my puppy is anticipating this bath. I'm only going to bathe her legs, her belly, and her face. We call that the furnishings in her beard. She doesn't need an overall bath all the time. It actually helps keep her jacket tighter. The jacket's the hair we call that goes all over her body. So I'm going to wet my puppy down, and she's going to try to escape, and we're not going to let her. If you've ever been in the shower and you get water up your nose or in your face, it's not comfortable. That's how I treat my puppies and all my dogs. I blow the water away from their face, away from their nose, so it gets the hair wet, but it doesn't freak them out. When using a shampoo, you really don't need that much. Most shampoos can come in a concentrate amount. This is all the shampoo you need in order to wash this entire dog. You need a little bit on the beard, a little bit on the legs, a little bit on the belly. So I'm going to put a little bit on the puppy and I'm going to start from the front of the legs under her belly, piggy grunt, and go to the back. And I'm going to suds her up. And this is actually a low sudsing shampoo, so it gets her clean. This particular shampoo is made just for that so it won't clog up a whole bunch of different grooming uh, bathtubs that are automatic. But also, it just helps overall in keeping your dog clean. And that's all the washing you do. Now I'm going to rinse her. And we keep the puppy in the tub. We're going to rinse her beard. That's why you have the noose, so they can't escape. They might fuss, but you just know that, and you just praise them for being good puppies and for tolerating it, because everybody appreciates a clean, non-stinky puppy. We're rinsing out her belly, we're rinsing out her legs, rinsing off her tushy. Clean tushies are very important. Now that we have her rinsed out, and now I'm actually gonna use a conditioner on her. Conditioner, just like human hair, it helps keep the hair strong, clean, and it's good for them. You're a good puppy. So just like your shampoo, you really don't need a lot of conditioner. A little bit for your beard, a little bit for your legs, and your belly, and your back legs. Piggy grunt. This puppy gets really ticklish and she makes cute little piggy noises. And now she's conditioned. This particular conditioner you don't have to leave on for very long. By the time you grab your hose, she shakes off a little bit, she's ready to be rinsed. If you can make bathing time fun for your dog, they really don't mind it that much. The one thing you don't want to do is bathe your overall dog on a daily basis. Really, they don't need an overall bath as often as you might think. The reason why you don't want to do that is because it dries out the coat and it can cause a lot more dander. People with allergies might have a problem with that. It actually keeps their skin healthier if you let some of those natural oils build up so you don't exactly want to wash it all out. And now this little puppy has been bathed. We do what we call the squeegee, where we just squeegee the hair and squeegee the paws and squeeze out that excess water before we put them in a towel so we can then take them in and dry them off. My name's Pilar Kuhn, and these are our podcasts.